people say it's a science. Understanding the front wing, the rear wing, controlling the components, from hot to cold, from fast to slow, long days, rainy days. In aerodynamics, every detail counts. You learn that the result is in your own hands. But the question is, can we really control air? thing is the core of our sport but believe me aerodynamics is much more it's about downforce it's about drag it's about efficiency above all it's understanding how the airflow interacts with the car flies through the car pushing it towards the ground to gain lap time we can definitely control more than we think and that's our job here measure the unmeasurable see what no one sees so it's all about getting the development as quickly as possible on track and you know, climbing up the ladder and being faster than the opposition because there's nine other teams out there that are doing exactly the same thing. Everyone wants to win. So you have to imagine we always have to push the boundaries to be a little bit better than the others. And only like this you can compete on the field. Good keep. And then we add one for the balance adjuster overall. The world of Formula One is all about uh, lap time performance and race performance. At the moment it's not hard, we'll let you know when we change it. Copy. Aerodynamics is about the uh, downforce, the load we apply on the tyres, drag, resistance to the air to gain speed on the straights. Yeah, it's because there's 25 laps and anything from lap 30 upwards, okay. Keep the tyres on the car. Everything starts from day minus one to day zero and we have got two teams, one at the track and one at the factory that work together all the time. They don't understand how we arrive to the conclusion that we need more downforce here than Baku. Because Baku is full of corners. Just dropped the front wing by three steps for the high fuel. All the teams in the factory have been putting little yeah. new pieces together to try to improve the car, develop the car for the season. So this way it's creating the downforce. And the downforce makes us go quicker or faster on track. So it's a very important part, but also a difficult one to get it right. As you can see up ahead here, you have this whole train of dirty air. He can just drive around, side, around the outside of Kimi here, so he's in the clean air. Outside there, stays on the inside, in the cleaner air on this side. Trying to target a very perfect geometry. Um, so all the curves that you see in a Formula 1 car, they are there for a reason. We wanted to start on the high end of the downforce because of the low grip, and, uh, but I think the track was in a very good condition. And this is definitely uh, low downforce. You will see a lot of different features on the front wings and they're all there for a purpose and it's to manage really the airflow around the tires and, and try to uh, clean the onset airflow for the rest of the car to streamline it as much as possible. Generally the rear wing defines your global downforce. You will see teams playing around with the rear wing level. Most important part of any car in terms of aerodynamics it is the floor, the diffuser because that gives the most of the downforce or the suction that the car stays uh, on the ground in the corners and it gives you to give it grip in that speed. The soft uh, is looking quite good. Yeah, tires on the worried front wing. Sometimes we don't need to speed. The eyes of Valtteri, I don't know if it's working or not. This season the car has been actually surprisingly less different in, in a way. Here you feel the car is a bit heavier, uh, the tires are heavier, they limit your vision slightly in some corners, but racing is better. It's a force of nature, temperature, wind speed, graining, and other factors as track conditions are key on what components we choose on the car, including tires. Soft, medium, hard. The strategy can change in one second. The temperature is different in each country. The tarmac is different at each track. We don't have a standard. Everything is a team decision on the go. 
a better decision can make us lose lap time and opportunities on track. So you always need to keep your eyes open. I wish I could explain it so that you could almost feel it, but it's so difficult. The forces we, we have in the car, you can't really create it in many other circumstances. And when you've driven a car since, like me, I've been since I was six years old, step by step you go faster and faster and you always get used to something. So as crazy as it sounds, for me it's normal. Like, it's, uh, that's my office and um, I, I truly love it.